So you think you are ready for the P-Power exam? In this video, I am going to help you discover the mistakes that could sink your ship on the exam. And we will also learn how to avoid these mistakes. The P-Power exam is the last exam that you have to take on your path to becoming a licensed professional engineer. It practically covers entire power systems engineering, ranging from codes and standards to protection and control and everything in between. The P-Power exam is eight hours long, during which you are expected to answer 80 questions. That leaves you with approximately six minutes per question. I've authored some of the top rated books on the topic of FE Electrical and P-Power exam preparation with several hundred five-star reviews on Amazon. I also run popular exam preparation programs for FE Electrical and P-Power exam preparation. I've helped hundreds of engineers prepare for and pass these exams in the first attempt. Here are some of the most common mistakes that I've seen students making when they start their P-Power exam preparation without proper research or guidance. Mistake number one, misunderstand the exam format. P-Power exam is a closed book computer-based exam. You are only allowed to bring an approved calculator to the exam. No outside reference materials are allowed. You will be provided a reference handbook during the exam which contains formulas and equations along with some descriptions, some definitions and some diagrams. The P-Power exam also contains codes and standards so you will also be provided access to NEC, NFPA 70E, NESC, NFPA 497, 499 and 30B. From a format standpoint, the exam is alternative item types and it does not contain any essay style questions with partial marks. Examples of alternative item types are fill in the blanks, multiple choice questions, match the columns, drag and drop, etc. Make sure to get yourself familiarized with the exam format. Within my P-Power exam preparation program, I have computer simulated practice exams and mini exams that will test your understanding in a time constrained manner. By the time you have practiced hundreds of these questions, in this style, the exam format is going to become second nature to you. Mistake number two, over-reliance on job experience and field knowledge. Many seasoned professionals with tons of experience under their belt mistakenly believe that their on-the-job training and field experience will cover all exam topics. Your field knowledge is definitely going to be an asset. However, the exam can test you on broad concepts. In my P-Power exam preparation program, at studyforfe.com, I cover all exam topics in detail using a first principle approach. In fact, you will find tons of derivations in my course with step-by-step -step explanations of key concepts. This will ensure that you know all the concepts inside out, including essential theoretical concepts and codes and standards for the exam. And it will significantly reduce the number of surprises for you on exam day. Mistake number three is lack of familiarity with the NCES reference handbook. As mentioned earlier, NCES P-Power reference handbook is the only allowed reference material during the exam. Although the P-Power Reference Handbook is not as comprehensive as the NCES FE Reference Handbook, it is still extremely important for exam preparation. In order to help my students develop familiarity with the Reference Handbook, I actively cross-reference page numbers in my lectures, in my quizzes, and practice exams. I also encourage the students to mimic exam-like conditions by keeping the Reference Handbook open during exam preparation because they will have access to it during the actual exam. Mistake number four not simulating, not mimicking the exam environment. Effective time management is essential for your success on the P-Power exam. One of the ways to improve your speed and proficiency is by timing yourself. You can do so by using apps or smartwatches or just using a regular clock, but this will typically result in unnecessary overhead and friction. Avoiding these common mistakes will increase your chances of passing the P-Power exam. If you are looking for a comprehensive and structured program to prepare for the P-Power exam, I recommend you to check out my highly rated course at studyforfe.com. Whether you are a new graduate or a seasoned professional, whether you have had an excellent academic career, an average academic career, or you barely passed engineering, whether you graduated from a US college or you are internationally trained, my program is designed to help students understand concepts using first principles in a stepwise manner. There are over 1000 practice problems with detailed solutions. Once you sign up, I will personally onboard you and develop a game plan during a one-on-one -on -one Zoom call based on your specific scenario. I hope you found this video helpful. Feel free to share your feedback and questions in the comments section below. Thanks for your time and good luck with your P-Power exam preparation.